Hi, I'm Bobby Lee with Square, and today we're going to cover how to implement a backend server for our in-app payments SDK in a simple Ruby app you can find in our description. First, let's start with our prerequisites. You want to match your Ruby version with the sample app and make sure you have a Square developer account. You can sign up for an account using the link that is also in the description below. Okay, let's start by creating an account. So you want to sign up top right, and once you get in, you want to click either new application, or since I already have an application here, I'm just going to click Coffee Shop Market Street. And this is where you're going to get your authentication tokens. So, you know, you normally you'd use your personal access token, but since this is a sample app, we're just going to grab our sandbox token right here. So copy that, and now head over back to your terminal. So open up your terminal and run copy env example space dot env. That's just giving you, you know, an example. We gave you an example file, so you just want to create your own env file and add that square token first, and then save it. And we'll go back over to our browser and grab the location ID. So bottom left, again, there's a sandbox one we're going to use, and we'll want to save this back in that same env file. So once that's done, you go to your terminal and run bundle install. So bundle is essentially taking all those dependencies, meaning all of your gems that we need to run this app, and running it and running it and installing it. So now to run any Rack app, including Sinatra, Rails, and Rhoda, in order to run the web server, we can use the command rackup. Now that the app is running, grab the fake card successful curl command found in your readme, and run it in a new tab in your terminal. Woohoo! Success! OK, what's going on here? Let's say you have a mobile app, and the customer just filled out in a payment form. Behind the scenes, Square just encrypted the card details and is giving us a single-use token called a nonce. And the front end just sent this nonce to us via a post request. OK, now let's take a look at the sample app again, open up your app.rb file, and go through this, and we'll go through this line by line to break it down. OK, so first let's cover all the required gems. .env slash load is loading our environment file, so we can use those tokens. Rhoda is the framework. Secure random, which we're using to generate a unique key to set our item potency key. Then Square Connect gives us access to Square Ruby SDK gem. Now, here's the app class that inherits from Rhoda our framework. We're setting the location ID. We need to make sure this ID matches the location ID that we set in the form that created the knots. Now, set Square to Square Client authenticated with our Square token that we saved in our environments file. Now for the charge method, the main bread and butter. Square.transactions.createCharge has a few variables we need to pass it. So first, location ID, which is you know, what we got for the environments file. Body, which passes the secure random UUID code to the item potency key. And then amount of money, which just remember, that's in cents. And then lastly, the card nonce is the nonce that came from the front end payment form. Now we've created a single route that accepts post requests. And in this route, we're passing the nonce to the charge method, which we've defined above, and we're going to return the JSON from the raw body. So there you have it. We took a nonce from the curl command slash payment form post request. And if this wasn't a sandbox example, you'd have a dollar in your account, which is pretty cool. And now we'll go back and run one more curl command. We'll start with the incorrect CVV. So open up your readme file and copy the CVV command. Let's plug that curl command into the terminal. And as you can see, it returns an error. This means the customer has entered CVV incorrectly. And whenever you have an error like this, or a decline charge, you want to have some sort of message for the customer to enter a new card or adjust their typos. So there you have it. That's how you take a payment. If you have any questions or feedback, look in our description for links to our Twitter and developer community. Thanks so much for watching.